good kitten internet. Uh, this is with the lack of tinting for reference. If you um, somebody wouldn't mind glancing back and forth between what it looks like on camera. Um, I think this looks slightly paler than I am, but then again, I haven't been outside in nine months, so who knows? Welcome back to 2020, oh gods why. Hopefully you're talking, uh, you're coming from a time that's not 2020. That would be great. If not, um, today's the 20th of December for me. This is going to be going live the 21st. And so we received a tidbit of a side quest here. Hello, everyone. Billy's condition hasn't changed. Neither is the dark sky. Oh, hi, mister. Guess what? Something good happened today. So I'm off to a good luck spot on the southeastern coast to set and say thank you. You can only get this tidbit if you talk to Meryl with Brad at this point of the game. Or really from here on out, because we're at the end. We're basically at the end of the game, plot-wise. So let's head out. How are you doing? I might have the light a little bright. Hopefully I'm not squinting too much. So along the southeastern coast. That's east. That's southeast. Would you look at that? There it is. So where are we going today? We're going to the good luck zone. I think we could do this now at least. So this is a giant puzzle dungeon. Not that, though. What key do we need? That is a good question. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't remember. But there's stuff around. We should take a look to see what this stuff is. Like there's something on this island. Let's find a way to get to that island. <laughs> well, that's going the wrong direction beach-wise, so that's not going to work. This should work, though. What's near here? This isn't this courtly. No, this is Damson City. So we're going to teleport to Damson City. teleport that far, but that means now the hovercraft should be in the right spot. Let's make sure that's the case. It's not. Hovercraft went all the way over to the other side. Okay, so that's not the way through. Hmm. Is this actually not a causeway, but I can go under with hovercraft? I might be able. Well, in that case, let's try teleporting over here, which is, which is the sealed region. So maybe this isn't in the wrong direction. Let's find out. I swear, this sounds like the Final Fantasy VII um, submarine music. I've just got a feeling of deja vu. I bet I've already said that. Ah, my nose is really itchy today for some reason. Also, super hungry because I've had food poisoning for the past day. Really mild case, but it uh, doesn't look like I can go through. Hmm. So that's not going to work. How do I get there? Yeah, I just decided to reload instead. Um, maybe I can teleport to here. I already teleported here, didn't I? Hmm. 
No, that's in the wrong spot. Let's teleport to Tabak or Tbok. Nope, that's actually where it sticks the hovercraft. That's so weird. How am I supposed to get into that inland lake again? I don't remember anymore. Anyway, I was just going to joke around. I actually do remember how to get in, but it's really interesting. You might have already thought about it, though. Do you know how to get in? I might need to leave again. I don't know if I have enough. Everybody's luck is terrible. I'm just going to sleep. That sounds like a good idea. So yeah, in order to be able to go through there, you need to have best luck. Just on whatever character is active. It doesn't need to be every character or anything. So thus the, I'm just going to go to sleep once and reset everybody's luck. I don't know why everybody's on bad luck. I have not gone to an end since the last videos. And I know I had best luck on Cannon or on um, Merivale while I was doing that. Might have been Cannon. All right, what's our luck like now? Bad, 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 and bad. Seriously, game? How about now? Normal, worst, bad, bad, worst, bad. I mean, I could equip something on cannon. I don't want to. If it was somebody else, I might have. What is with the horrible lock? Normal, 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 bad, bad, worst. That should be fine. I don't have the other one. I actually need good luck, don't I? Well, I have, um, let's increase luck. I have at least one small flower left, or tiny flower, sorry. There we go. Now Loka should be able to do this. Oops, if I actually exit, doesn't it? And yes, I know I have a bunch of personal skill points waiting. The reason why I'm holding off is that I want to do the Let's Analyze videos for everybody, and... Since I haven't bothered with the whole... Oh, I should just teleport. Um, since I haven't bothered figuring out how to save game edit for Wild Arms 2, and I also haven't really bothered looking it up, I just decided I'm going to... make this go slightly higher. Slightly higher. There we go. Um, I decided I was just going to go without temporarily. And if I do end up save game editing, that'll be a separate Let's Analyze. I don't know if I'm going to bother, because it didn't seem like too many people were interested in the save game hex editing. Alright. I could have swore that's what I needed. Maybe that's for a later door? One moment. I'm going to look this up. This is bothering me. I'm a fool. I forgot about something. I need a random encounter in here is what it is. By the way, yeah, there's no hints about this at all. But then again, we're in pure optional content. Really, game? Uh, random encounter? I don't have anything reducing random encounters. There. Little ridiculous. See, notice that they are, have keys on them. 
Quopa, do you have anything I need to steal? Or need to take from you? No. You only have secret keys. Ooh, we need to equip Marivel with a guardian. Yeah, Odoruk sounds like a great idea right now. You're going to pickpocket A. Yeah, let's dig. Why not? I have best luck, so it shouldn't take too many attempts. Taminate Crust, holy crap. Oh, it's a weak version of okay. me. Got a toy hammer. Aw, yes. There we go, got the key. Ooh, poisoned. Who knows? Give me your soul! That wasn't that much. You're going to die now. I will go ahead and take a second, just in case. Mostly because I don't remember if I actually need to or not. Well, let's go, go ahead and look to see what Asgard looks like. Hopefully I succeed. Yep, I did. Another contaminate crust. More people poisoned. Asgard! He's right there. Has been there the entire time, we swear. Doesn't look very good upscaled. Also, very low frame rate. But it's our good buddy, the Earth Golem. And it actually does a decent amount of damage. All right. Doo, 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 doo. Probably toward the end. No. Where poor art thou key? I would have expected it in this area. What? Okay. Apparently, it's after that. Unlock both, because we can. Apparently, it's not a one-use item. Got a crest, though. That's always nice. All right. I don't know why you bothered locking twice in a row. Texas number. Uh, isn't that for Ashley? Yeah. Ooh. It's actually a decent item. Neat. Secret key. Why am I doing this so often? Amulet! That's the one that increases luck twice, right? Yeah. Okay. It's like, seriously, I have all of the... You only need one secret key. I'm, this would be a little different if you had to have them as one use, but, you know, good luck and all that. It's a good luck zone. Yeah. Ooh. Big Aryan. Yep, that's right. Guardian. Trying's one luck is one way. If you're so sure of your luck, try asking the door about it. Hi. This is the part that you needed best luck in. I just mixed up which one was which. I'm a nice guy. Chapapanga. Chap. <clears throat> Chapapanga. 
Chapapanga. Chapapanga. Good evening, Flock. It's about luck. Leave it to me. Notice the color is different on that rune. Even with, when you have power without luck, it won't turn out okay. With some luck, you'll be fine. That's because that's a High Guardian. And that is our first High Guardian, in fact. And it increases every stat. Doesn't increase it by much, but it increases it by enough. But you know what that means. It's time for Tim to kill some things. All right. So we did that. That's one of the things that I wanted to do. Now we just need to head out. Let's not fall. Falling would not help. Well, we need Tim to kill things. Um, by the way, were they weak against anything? No. They also only have... 560 hit points. Okay, that's not bad. Randomly invokes original powers. Why not? Rock Bolt! I mean, it's fine. It's just... Not what I wanted, that's all. Um, oh, there's antidote. Sorry, my microphone's kind of in the way at the moment. I accidentally knocked my monitor down a bit when I was setting this up. In fact, I'm going to put this back up. While I'm going. Make sure I don't cover my face. There we go. That's better. Ice beam. Hold on a moment. I hear a kitty doing things that they shouldn't. That was not a kitty. That was my housemate. All right. So that's two kills. How many kills do we need for that guardian's ability anyway? We didn't even look at it. Gold hammer is 48 and lucky word is 75. Oh... But, they're kind of okay abilities, I guess. It's going to be a long time before we finish learning those. So yeah, this is the video that we're going to be doing a lot of the optional content. Submerge! That works. Yes, I am intentionally using randomizer because chances are it's gonna be better than anything else that I do. All right, I wanna go over to Guild Galad. Because we have something that we should have gotten before and didn't from the Guild Galad master's son. Let's go over there. There we go. Hello, Ashley. Perfect timing. By experimenting on a live dragon, I have created the Full Clip, a device that transfers a user's telepathic strength to an arm. It's somewhat difficult to control, but I'm sure you'll be able to handle it, Ashley. One thing to keep in mind is that it discharges every round in your arm when activated. Also, how powerful it is depends on your arm's remaining ammo count when you equip it. Here, take it. Just unload a full clip. Cool. <laughs> Werewolf Den should be close to here. It's, uh, according to that, southeast, okay. I think I might have accidentally found the werewolf den before. 
Oh, that's right. We have a new crest. We should memorize stuff to it. We have two. That'll work. We also need some uh, the other fancy crest, which I believe is in one of these dungeons. I don't remember. So yeah. Southeast of Guild Galad. Look for a small beach on the east side of the Oh yeah, I remember where this is at. It's over here. Looks like it's on the mountain. Werewolf's Den. I don't think this is a very large dungeon. Couldn't quite hear the... Ooh, darkness. Nothing, okay. Hmm. Oops. Ah, this is one of those mazes. Hmm. Sabbath. Okay. Any of these enemies things that I need to go drain? Yeah, a mountains have definitely changed since Wild Arms 1. Amon. Oh, half damage from all elements. You can get a Mega Berry from them. Eh. Black Sabbath. Weak against Lightning. They do have a red skill, though. Demon angle. Okay. Do I have demon angle? Doesn't look like it. First aid to heal up, of course. Hmm. Some graphical glitches there. White dagger? does a lot of damage if that was on a defend. Then again, it's just a magic attack. Poison breath. Oh, status effects. Oh, her luck is terrible right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's normal. Well, we have this amulet. That's what it's here for. What is it, sound candy? I'm right here. Nope. Did not need to poke you in the eye. Cats. Um. Eh. Just deal with it. Or even better. Get rid of that one. First aid. Let's try that skill drain thing again. Hang zone. You want to be up on my shoulder? I need to clean up around here. There's a bunch of junk on the ground at the moment because I've been not feeling so great. And just kind of want to sit and do nothing. Poison breath again. Skill drain. This time with more working. Demon angle. I'm assuming that's a dark magic attack. Random. Banishes enemy to demon triangle. Looks like it's an instant death attack of some variety. 
Okay. That's a thing. That's not a useful thing to have done. Petrification? Ah, crap. I was warned about that, but... Um, restore Marivelle. Random. Although, Tim actually has enough. Oh, Valkyrie's actually a good choice. Actually leveled up. Also nice. Now that we no longer have to keep him low level, I'm not going to constantly deprive him of power. Um, we have that. That. Oh. That looks promising. Well, out of the darkness and into the summoning circle. I sense the waves of a guardian. The guardian must be near here, but this is a strange, powerful feeling. First time I've ever felt this particular sensation. A strange guardian? It doesn't mean that... I can't believe this is sacred ground dedicated to the guardians. Dots. Oh, it's a waste of time. We need to move on. We have no time to waste. Zone, what are you doing? All right, we finally get a voice to the name. Hmm, what voice should I do? I am the voice of desire. If you want this power, give my name. Remember his name? See if I can remember how to spell it. Is it? Ashley! Just one giant vertical line. Perfect. Where is this? I've been waiting for you, Ashley. The one with the connection to the blazing demon. Ashley Winchester. Who are you? You should remember, Lucid. Come on. Lucid! It's been a long time, Ashley. Why are you here? I've been waiting for you. Anastasia asked me to. She wanted me to help you. Anastasia wanted you to... But it's meaningless if you aren't the type to use me correctly. I am the Guardian of Desire. I only lend powers to those who can make use of my powers. Do you understand my meaning? Remember, Lucid worked with Boomerang. Did not say a single thing. Lucid worked with Anastasia. Did not say a single thing. That's probably because neither one of them were... POV or point of view characters. In this case, Ashley is a point of view character. Ashley's making a contract with Lucid. I really wish this mechanic stayed in more than just Wild Arms 2, because that's actually a really cool concept. Because Ashley's not the summoner. And that makes sense, because when it comes to... Sorry for the shaking. Um, when it comes to the Guardian of Desire Lucid... You don't need a summoner. Lucid's powerful enough to come on his own. But unfortunately, this is the only Wild Arms game that has something like this that I know of. A person's strong desire becomes my food. The source of my strength. It is the flesh and blood I need for my power. A desire stronger than any other. I ask you, what is it that you desire? What I desire? 
I desire a peaceful daily life. Marina is there with Grandma. Brad and Loka are too, along with everyone else from the arms. Days with no need to fight. Days with no disputes. Is that your hope? I don't wish to be a hero now. There was a time where I wanted to be a hero, but that was to protect everyone's happiness. I didn't want to see anyone suffer. But there's a simpler answer. The truth is, I wanted to protect Marina's smiling face. So I... It doesn't matter what the power is. Power is neither good nor evil. Power can be good or evil depending on who uses it. The hope's all the same. What you wish is the same as Anastasia. Think about what Anastasia said way back at the start of this disc. That all she wanted to do was goof around with her friends. What's the difference between that and what Ashley wants? Good desire. Desire suited to become my flesh and blood. Lucid. Your strength will come from your hope wrapped around your body. When you desire power, call out my name. Zone is currently playing with a bit of cardboard. If the daily life you desire, I will battle, I will become the sword to battle all kinds of places. I use people's strong hopes for my power. I, guardian of desire, lucid. I will be with you until the day when your hope has been exhausted. Bad lucid acquired. Note how this is phrased. Attack, not force power. Not arm. Attack. Are you okay, Ashley? You disappeared so suddenly, I was worried. Oh, oh I didn't mean to mean it, worry you. Um, Guardian Desire just called me to his own pocket dimension and went, Hey, sup, so what do you really want? And then he gave me his strength after I told him. A lucid? He's the guardian who was always right beside, right there beside the sword magus. I've heard he's a noble guardian for which no medium exists. If you can borrow lucid's powers, your warring powers will be strengthened. In my case, my party presence alone guarantees grand victories. But fellow humans need to borrow the powers of the guardians. Be grateful. Wonder if you actually need. What happens if you don't have Maryville and you do this? Because I'm pretty sure I've always grabbed Maryville first. I wonder if you actually can't do it without Maryville. Anyway, that's it. There's nothing else in this dungeon. I think. This is where the exit is, but I'm going to go north now. Ooh, my enemies. More Black Sabbaths. Sabbaths? The hell type of English was I saying there? Arcana 13! Oh. Instant death works on them. Cool. <sighs> Zone's lost again. Use even more antidotes. I might need to actually buy some. Alright. Is there even an exit from here? Or is this just a dead end? Just a dead end. 
Oh, right, I actually need random encounters. Dang it, me. I always do that. Alright. We are done with the werewolf den. It's a very, very tiny dungeon. Does it actually even list anything as being in here? No. Okay. Um... Easternmost Island. Okay, I think I know where I need to go. Also, I could have swore I should have had an upgrade with, from Lombardia at this point, but... Oh well. <laughs> this place. We scanned it earlier, but I didn't want to go in yet. This has stuff. All right. There's a bunch of duplicator things required here, and I think I have enough duplicators. We'll find out, because there's a lot of loot here. What is closed by magic shall be opened by magic, like a duplicator. See? Lots of duplicator things. How many duplicators do I have right now? Seven. I think I need exactly seven. Crest E acquired. That's the expansion crest that allows me to do an area of effect thing. I was hoping that would work because that would be hilarious. Talisman. I don't remember what the talisman does now. Ooh, that's the regen item. That's the thing I usually equip on Brad just because he has gobs of hit points. I went too far. Duplicators are here. Elven boots. That's our last pair of elven boots. So we can actually have a 100% chance of surprise encounters with it. Which, honestly, right now might not be the worst idea. Maybe? Let's find out if this works. Oh. I still have Wind Ring equipped on her. We'll do Coin Purse on Cannon. Then let's go to this side. Guide the Stone Drago lost on the road with light. The Drago's chin will lead you to power and power. Okay. But first, loot! Ah. Uh. I... Kid gloves. What do they do? Item that ups physical defense. Oh, so it's the. So we already have one of those. So mittens ups it by 14. Kid gloves ups by 28. So it's basically. Two up. Okay. Neat. Elven cloak? That actually sounds really neat. What's that do? Extends the cancel period when worn. So the cancel period is the exclamation point above my head when a random encounter happens. So that's a neat item. I don't really need it right now, but it's a neat item. Not in line. Again... And Ambrosia, Nectar of the Gods. Alright. Hmm. So what's the say about the... Guide it with light. Chin will lead me to power and power. Guide it with light. Oh, this requires a tool I don't have yet. That makes more sense. Yeah. 
because I'm actually here slightly early. I need to do other things. But anyway, we did some random stuff. Uh, how long has it been for this video? 40 minutes. Yeah, that's not long enough. Let's do a ray point. Um, well, first off, we have a crest that I need to remap. Remap is a word that could be used for it. Right to. Whatever. We're using it. Holst. Okay. Gotta think, what do I want with Crest E? Oh, it's half FP. Oh. Pretty sure that's what I'm going to want. Okay. Yeah, Hyper Weapon probably makes the most sense for that. Because Hyper Weapon is so expensive. Oops, did not mean to back out all the way. Hyper Weapon. And, um... Armor down? Sure, we'll go with armor down. Okay. Now let's go to a ray point. I don't know which one. Because again, I'm not looking things up anymore. I probably should at least look up on the map. But I'm going to do is fly around until I see something on my radar. Seems to work for me. That's the right point we already did, right? Yeah, that's the one we already did. Isn't there another one, like, right over here or something? No. That doesn't look cool. Or it does look cool, whatever you want to phrase it as. We can't get there, though. There's no beach, and I can't land there. Still not seeing anything on radar, I'm just going to look up at the map. Alright, raypoints. Um, the raypoint that I've done is raypoint geo. Yep, that's there. So, 26, 28, or 29. Uh, yeah, there's a ray point over here. This is the one by Palace Village. About here. Landed directly on top of it. Ray point flam. This is Loka's ray point. It actually gives her a tool that we need. But a Change Rod! The Change Rod is for use by Loka. Press the square button to, and for the Change Rod to shoot magic bullets ahead. It's the item that swaps back and forth. Now we can do that. Um... Now we're leaving, because time-wise, I want to do this dungeon another time, and do you remember that we needed that item? Do you remember where? That's right. We're finally going to do a little bit more of this, although I think we might need multiple items to make that happen. So, basement of Odd Headquarters. Oh yeah, we need Tim's as well. Never mind. Should have just save stated there so I don't have to go back. 
Can I just quickly jump into Tim's as well? That's like Ray Point Muse, if I remember right. Oh, we'll do Ray Point Slam. It's not very far away. Meowm. And I bet we can do it in the next 15 minutes. That seems doable. Also, it means I don't have to use the grappling hook. Ha 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 ha! Plus a healing. All right, is there anything in here I need to specifically watch out for? Like, item-wise? Uh, there's actually a lot of good items in here. Okay. Oh, wait. I needed to actually fight things. Oh, well. Too late. <laughs> I made an assumption that red meant fire. I know it's a completely wild and outlandish assumption. Ooh, loot. Apple? Apples! I needed those anyway. Alright. Green exclamation point. And I surprised a Devanova? Nova? Devo. Yep, I surprised Devo. Weak against Earth. Okay. Ooh, I can pickpocket a war respite. We'll do that. Weak against Earth, so Rock Dolt. You're gonna dig out. Not that you're gonna get a turn. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, it lived. This time. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bum. We get to use that stupid knife again! Does this get me... Oh no, how will we ever figure out how to do this? Giga Flame! Giga Flame. It does not teach Marivel a flame spell for some strange reason. Giga Frost, on the other hand, does. That doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna try stealing an ability from it anyway. Which means... I just don't trust it, that's all. 
All the rest of those do. Nope. Because I have best luck, that's 100% chance. Okay. Well. Holy tablet, Batman. I'm starting to feel like I'm going the right way, so I'm going to head back. Because I had a split in the path, and I just assumed that I was going the quote-unquote correct direction. She had an item that gave double XP right now. And a Habarim. Habarim. Can't get any ability from it. Doesn't drop anything that I care about. Flame Tongue, you hurt me. Maravil leveled up, though, so that's always nice. But ah, this is the alternate way. Gimmel Coin. We finally got another continue. It's been so long. We've obviously needed so many of them. Okay. Good, because that, that would have bothered me if I had left that. I meant it, Life Drain. Oh. Well. Not skill drain. Life drain. Probably fully healed now anyway, yeah. Okay, those are blue. They're not red. I'm confused. Bloop. 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 Yeah, I'm surprising everything at this point. Nothing will ever be able to go first again, and it's glorious. Although it does seem to make random encounters even easier than they already are. But they weren't exactly hard to begin with, so I'm not too concerned. This just saves time. Gauntlets. That sounds like an... No, it's not. I have ups physical defense even more than the kid gloves. Almost sounds like it'd be useful for Marival.
Uh, this is one of those that needs to be done a certain number of throws. Yeah, the problem is that... Okay, it's time-based. Can I hit middle? I can. All right, what's going to be the easiest way of doing this? Hmm. You see, my thought was lines, except that I can't see enough of the screen when I do that, so that doesn't actually work. Okay, it is purely time-based. the middle actually should work. I'm just being slow. Damn it. There we go. Ooh, lava. Even if my power is insufficient, I can't stand by and do nothing! All right, <clears throat> once more, we have an enemy that loves to cast spells on themselves, to reflect spells. Which means Cannon is going to be our primary user of Stoof. Tim probably shouldn't be here. Did he do any instant death attacks? She? They? No, actually, I think Ashley needs that. Hmm. Two sixteen. They have the same defense? Oh. Well, Ashley still has far lower hit points right now, so. Alright. Guardians. Anything to increase Ashley's attack. Brad also has things to increase attack. That's cool. You're going to get things to increase attack. Rigdebrite's not a terrible idea. What's my other option? Yeah, Rig to Bright's better. Okay. Take out shield. Hmm. 
Hmm. What could we throw at things? Satchley's attack is not very good right now. We don't have too many things to throw, do we? Busts. Is that level 4 throwing item? We have busts. I don't even know how much damage that does. It's probably not enough. 409. Yeah, I don't care anymore. Eight hundred. Okay. Come to think of it, we should probably have Loka casting hype weapon. Hype. Ashley's normal attack does more damage than the thrown weapon. That's about right. Basically, only the highest level thrown weapon is useful, unless if you're doing the low-level run. Let's get some more hype for Ashley! And the reason why I'm hyping up Ashley and not cannon is because Ashley's going to be using melee attacks. Cannon's going to start using gats once I get enough force points. And since gats have very little to do with attack power... Yeah, don't care, I'm not actually casting spells on you. No shields allowed! More hype! Caloric Nova, ah, oh, crap. That was, by the way, why I equipped the, uh, book. Okay. This is time for secret weapon time. Ready for secret weapon time? access time. Heal up first, though. That was a decent amount of damage. Ow. Access. So, this is what Ashley got. It's Guardian Blades at Power Slash. Single attack. It's called Mad Lucid. Not that I have any FP to use it right now, but we'll fix that. Actually, it might be dead before I even get a chance. Because that does a lot of damage. <laughs> That's right. Ashley killed something. I forgot to use the freaking lucky card. Oh well. I don't even know how far back the save is. Let's see. Yeah, it's at the entrance. Hold on a moment. I'm gonna undo the load state. Not worth that. It's definitely not worth that. Menu, undo load state. All right, we're going to save here and stop for the night. Or for the recording session, I should say, because I need to record more of these. I'm trying to catch up again. Oh, I'm going to actually need to make a new copy of the save file. So, I hope you've enjoyed this internet. Talk to you next time. Bye!